Tonight for dinner, we are making chorizo gnocchi. We've got our chorizo going. We're about to boil the gnocchi in there. This is our table and I absolutely love the pattern here. It's from Temple and Webster. I will link it in the description below. These are not the dining chairs we'll have. They're currently just the ones I usually have in my office and obviously are ruined and like seven years old. We've got some stools there going strong and that's pretty much it. The only thing we have set up in the kitchen is our utensils, a kettle, not even our coffee machine yet, the knife block and literally nothing in here. Right, like that's the extent of our food. And then here is our Kmart situation. So I really wanted to get a thumbnail for my Kmart haul here. These are literally my favorite thing in the entire world, splays. Please let me know in the comments below if you use splays, but like I will never ever go back. And I just love them. These were a housewarming gift from my grandparents when I first moved out in like 2016 to go to uni and live on campus. So we're using them tonight because we haven't actually bought cutlery. For those of you who, who have just come to my channel from this vlog, there is an empty apartment to our, my channel. Go ahead and watch that, I will link it up here. I don't like this, what do we think? Comment down below. Do we like the table runner? I'm going with no. Anyway, the way that our house is structured is we've got two more floors. Our front door and garage is upstairs, but our back door is downstairs. We've got a powder room here, but the spare room is down here. <laughs> As for the kitchen space, let's deal with this in this video. We've got a problem. We've got these, the cupboards here. Then we've got these cupboards here. Please comment down below what you think we should be doing. Glasses there, so this is what we bought at Kmart today. We've got nice, these are the Santorini ones, these ones. Okay, so what we've done in here so far, like because of the lack of space, we're just gonna have to have our plates in here. I am thinking, you know how on Amazon drawers that are like maybe this deep and they kind of like hang on to the cupboard, you know? So we can pull them out, put them back in, or even just shelves generally that sit like that. I think we're gonna have to do that. And so we can do that on a few levels. I think on this level, we're gonna have to have obviously that there, anything that won't fit in these drawers. So like rice cooker, slow cooker. These are what we've ended up with in terms of plates. I think they're kind of cute. They're literally from Kmart and they're $3 each. So, and it has a matching water jug, which is super cute. And then these are the ramen bowls. I got Sam as a present, which come with chopsticks and like soup spoons, like ramen spoons. I have to get like a shelf thing. Or I'm gonna do, again, the Amazon thing where it's like lid stacked in. I'm gonna add photos. It's just Amazon kitchen and spoon and have like the lid stacked on one side, but we'll see. This wok we just bought from Kmart is the 30 centimeter stone glass non-stick wok. And then this is the set of like pans we bought. Like all of these are matching from this. So this is like 700 bucks or 900 or something down to 200, I think. And we bought this in January. We bought that today. And can we just appreciate this? What the hell? That is literally the exact same. Are you actually kidding me? What the hell? Anyway, that's a little bonus for today. Good morning, guys. Today is day four in the house. Today is actually really sunny, which is exciting. So I'll show you the view quickly. It's looking so much better when it's not rainy weather. Anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna try my keep it clean off turmeric apple cider vinegar water shot. I'm gonna go get a coffee and hopefully edit some of my video to get it up today at 10. Probably not gonna happen. Anyway, I'm wearing this jumpsuit from Boohoo. It's kind of cute and like comfy, although I've definitely put it in the dryer, which means it's like a bit tighter. Okay guys, I will see you when we get back. I'm not gonna take you with me because I'm filming a first grocery shop haul. So you'll have to go over and check that out if you wanna see all the new things we buy and how much we spend in our first ever grocery shop, which I think is gonna be a lot. We gotta get all the spices and oils and 
other things that grown-ups do. <laughs> so see you in a little bit. Okay guys, bit of a change of plans. I am now driving Sam's huge ute. We got a call on our way here. It was the couch being delivered to his house. I dropped him at his place and he's gonna take the couch over with his dad to ours. And so I'm left to do the shopping. I'm gonna do the grocery shopping, but I'm also going to go return the jute table runner to Kmart, buy some more things from Kmart and see if I could get some coffee mugs from Harris Scarf and have a look in Target. So I'm going to go do those big things first and then I will do the grocery shopping after that. So I'm probably going to be here for like an hour or two and hopefully everything fits in the car and hopefully I can lift everything. So let's give it a go. Guys, look at the couch, yay! Okay guys, we're back and we are going to try and get the couch up here. Which is going to be near impossible so sam has just parked out the front and we're gonna go and try and get it up these stairs which is what we did with the fridge and it did not work so let's see i'm probably gonna need to change my outfit to get the couch in I had to call Angus Demi's boyfriend because they live just close by and we managed to get this side of the couch in so we got that first half in downstairs right D difficultly but we made it this second part here it just would not fit underneath like this part and around the corner at the same time so I thought what if we do it here where there's no roof limit so we managed to just bring it down really easily. So this is it. I'll put the covers on it and have a look at how it looks. Definitely goes with my like coastal boho vibe that I want. I wanted white. How good does that look? We will be obviously getting feet for the bottom of it. We just need to put them on. I don't know where they are. <laughs> It's looking really good with the dining table too. Don't forget those chairs will be white wishbone chairs. So, wait, so you can see it in the light. There you go, that's much better. So that is how it's looking at the moment. I love it so much, oh my God. I'm a bit in my head at the moment because I don't know, I think I'm feeling lethargic and I did just watch um, my empty house tour like I just watched the footage and I'm just not really happy with it so I'm gonna leave it negative but it's fine we're gonna push past that I really need to just like fast forward all the work that I'm gonna do I've looked and assessed everything and I think it should take me approximately two hours and that's being generous to do everything that I want to do and then that should get me to 5 5 30 ish and then I will get like relax edit my video and then wait until Demi and Bridget are coming over for 
kind of drinks and like a cheese board platter style thing. I'm just going to quickly show you what I bought at the shops today and then I'm going to make a coffee. So I'm going to bring the coffee machine down here and we're going to use that for the first time ever. Sam's going to be very sad that I'm not doing it with him. We bought a like mini Nutri Bullet. So this is called the Magic Bullet and it's actually pretty small but I think I'm just going to keep it in the box. Now as for what I got from Target, I got a strainer. Sam said he specifically wanted like a, a plastic strainer. Like he just doesn't like metal ones. So I got that and that's going to have to go in here. I was looking for Bodum cups. Like if you guys know what they are, they're what I've had drunk my coffee in for ages. I couldn't find any. They're just all out of stock. Then I saw these which are very similar to Bodum cups. They're like the double ball glass coffee mugs. So I was like, oh, I'll just get some of them and then we can stock up on proper Bodum cups eventually. Nicely wrapped, that's good, that's safe. So let's have a look at them. Cute. I mean, that's perfectly fine. And any that I like and I don't not like these, but they're definitely not what I want long term. I think I'm gonna find some good quality ones. We have been struggling not having tea towels. So get one out, I believe. The other things that I bought are the beginning of my organizational series. I'm going to do obviously a full series on organizing your home and like putting all my kitchen stuff into these sort of jars. For some reason I can't withstand the urge to get this anyway. So I got two of these size. Because we planned out the week and what we're having for dinner, I got this for the spaghetti that Sam will be eating as well. So one of them's for rice. I thought we could do this together. I got a 50 piece cutlery set from Target. They look good, they feel fine, and I'm fairly sure it was like $25. So that was pretty cheap. Perfect. Now, when we get the rice cooker, which we paid for, but we need to head out somewhere else to get it, I'll leave the cup in here so that you can like measure it when it's in there. So I'm gonna put this in here. Okay, so this is the coffee machine that we got. It is a sea salt color and it's actually not the, it's the Barista Pro. So I'm used to using the Barista Express and this one kind of has like a more automatic setting on it. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I'm gonna open it. And then we did get Black Betty which is Owner Coffee is my favorite owner brand. If you're not from Canberra, please try this. It's literally the best coffee in the world. So yeah, I'm really excited to open this and make a coffee right now. Okay guys, there you go. I've put the coffee beans into the, I absolutely love this. I can't tell you how much, like that is my favorite thing in the entire world. And then as for the coffee machine, oh God, I really want it here, right? Because I don't feel like we have space. Obviously that's not gonna stay messy. I really wish that we can put that in there and cut a hole and make it go through there. And if we can, then we can have this over there. But I genuinely want to have, like, I love coffee so much, especially owner coffee, that I genuinely want to have a whole section just for coffee, like ladder here, 
with kind of decorating like cafes do with all the owner coffee things so i want to have a few bags of them stocked up on the bottom floor then on the next floor i want to have like takeaway coffee mugs from this place that has really cute coffee mugs then after that i want to have the actual coffee that we're using at that time and coffee glasses and then on the top floor i want to have my cute little cute little collectible um espresso cups anyway point is do i put it there which just looks a bit weird doesn't it and also just to add there's nowhere to plug it in i'll see if i can connect it to this actually let's do it I couldn't figure out how to start the coffee machine and like there's all this stuff you need to do and I think Sam will help me out with that. So instead, I've opted for a glass of wine because it's actually really late in the day and it's more wine o'clock than it is coffee o'clock because it took me so long to do everything here. I'm going to just put the cameras away and I'm going to just try and smash out heaps of stuff. So I'll see you in a little bit. It's over now Time keeps slipping With the skin next to mine In your lips I can fight But it's over now You brought out the best in me We had everything we needed You put me aside And turned out the lights For no reason Was it a make-believe? Wasting my time 